Mennonites have always weighed the benefits of new technology against the cost to community. But there is always room for disagreement, and Mennonites have often divided over the pace of change. The biggest division in Waterloo County happened in 1889, when a large number of Mennonites cautiously embraced modern culture. At home on the farm, things begin early, and the work changes. allow cars, provided that the cars are black. And there are other among the old or Mennonites. A few different groups have evolved over the years. Where it talks as well, everybody has to cut. <laughs> Mennonites have always weighed the benefits of new technology against the cost to community. But there is always room for disagreement. And Mennonites have often divided over the pace of change. They have their own unique stories. Despite the differences among the Mennonite groups in Ontario, written by Anabaptist prisoners are preserved in contemporary Mennonite hymnals.
any kind, old order meeting houses are plain, and for the most part, more modern Mennonites in North America also value. still gather in places that look much like this, you are invited to have a seat and think about what this place says. Have you considered the influences that have shaped your personality, your beliefs, the quality of your present life? Does your way of life bring you fulfillment? Are you happy with the directions you have chosen? Okay. Our own story causes us to ask some questions of the wider world in which we live. And we admit that we don't have all the answers. Perhaps you've asked the same questions. Does prosperity have any limits? In the spirit of the angel's song, on earth, peace, goodwill to all people. Thanks for your visit, and come again.